gain by being a member of the Los Amigos football program? I gain knowing the real meaning of a football team coming as coming to as a family, up, as man? in sticking together and just basically having each other's backs. I mean, no matter what. Um, I've gained being being a stronger player individually and team wise. I mean, working together as a team, learning. I mean, just to respect one another on a teammate. I mean, our teammates and stuff like that. So just all come together as one. That's what I've learned in this program, Los Amigos program. Probably the the uh, main thing is discipline. You know, that's, that's what Coach T is all about, just learning, ma making the right decisions in life, not only in football, but in life. And that, that's, that's about the main thing I learned in two years I've been here. Um, I've given a uh, second family here. Um, you know, everybody respects each other. Everybody has each other's back. You know, we, we're in trouble. We can help each other out. So I've given another family. Um, I've gained another family, basically. Um, I feel like I have another family here. The coaches, they're like my, my father figures, basically. My players, they're my brothers. That's how I think of them. And whenever I have problems, I have 35 people to go to, not just, not just my direct family. your own protection because we see things that you need not see and we be places that you need not be so go with your life forget the roswell crap show love to the black suit because that's the men in that's the men in okay when you look back at your career playing football uh give me your most uh, memorable moment my most memorable moment I guess I'd have to say the homecoming game, which everybody would know about my ankle in that situation. But I mean, you know, a lot of people tell me it happens for a reason, you know, and I'm just here. My reason, I think, is just to inspire the team, you know, show them 
how hard they have to work during each game and you know don't take life for granted that's about it when you look back over the last two years what would you say uh, was one of your most memorable moments with the team uh, starting and when uh, when we all came together and helped Andrew you know score the touchdowns and stuff and his yards what would you uh, say right now to your coaches if they were here with you? Thanks for all the help and all the, because they were there when, when I needed help and stuff. Thank you for being there. If you have a most memorable moment, what would it be? It would have to be last year, um, our game against Rancho. Um, the same week before the game, we had a we had a meeting. Everyone had to say what it meant for them to be a Lobo. And that's when I. That's when it just clicked. Everyone feels the same way about the program. Everyone has a family within the program, and that's just that's something really special. You could you could talk about something like that with the whole team. And I think everyone really really searched deep inside to to say what they really meant to say. What is uh? What would you say would be your your most memorable moment, whether it's with the team or you personally? It doesn't matter. Um. As a team, just just playing all the games together throughout the whole season, and me personally uh, working with coaches, being coached by all of our coaches. I mean, all of them are like just the best coaches you can ever have, and um, and also me scoring the eight touchdowns that I scored in, uh, in one of the games against Bolson. So that that was one of the, probably the most memorable that I've done. Okay, what was one of your most memorable moments here at? Uh... Running over people, uh, being a blocker, yeah. running over people. It's fun doing that. It feels good. It's knowing that somebody's on their back and you go look for somebody else. Yeah, I've done all that this year. Watch the films. What do you think of your coaches? Oh, they're great. Smart. Smart. Uh, to come up with a new scheme every week. You know, the, uh, the scouting, the scouting is good. The coaches know, uh, the coaches know everything about the team that we're about to play. They know what they eat, everything. Um, one of my memorable moments is when I was playing freshman in JV, we won league. But this year, the most memorable happened to me, which was when Andrew broke the county record for uh, for touchdowns. I mean, I was in there blocking for him, and that's special because people are going to be talking about that for years to come. The most memorable moment in my, must have to be the day before Mayfair game. Uh, that day we were here practicing pregame, and they come out, uh, Coach D called that. Uh, uh, Timo, right? And I wasn't starting then, so I came out to the sideline. So I was talking to one of my friends. I'm like, nah, I ain't starting, so why worry? But Coach T yells out my name. He's like, hey, Chief, get over here. You're going to start the next the next night. So that's my most memorable moment because that day he told me I could start start that game. And since then, I've been starting. And the other uh, most memorable moment was, uh, so I think it's for everybody. It's the night uh, Andrew uh, broke the record for most, most touchdowns. That's the other
their friends. Let them win. Don't play, don't play with these guys, guys. Go out for the court and let's rock their world. They can't play with you up front. They got one or two guys. If you let those one or two guys Gentlemen, before we go into battle here, I just want to tell you, I just want to tell you how important these moments that you have underneath those lights are. This is a flash in your life. It's a flash in your life. Make it so the picture is beautiful. Make it so the picture is beautiful. In order to do this, you have to feel it right here. Ask him. He knows. He's on the other side. His senior year is finished. If you can't feel tired, you can't feel fatigued, the only thing that you can feel is an anticipation. That's what I'm asking you to do tonight. For you, and your family, for you and your family. So your family is here and your family is out there. Go, go, go.
running away from those guys on the watches. And Mike's not getting through one step away from making that big play like he did before. Just keep maintaining your block and give me that push. Let's just get us some offensive flow and we'll be all right. Get us some offensive flow and start right now.
Come out here every day and work hard and uh, practicing and you know everything. Just just to hear the name Lobos means something and makes me feel special. I feel proud. Um, it means having I mean getting the respect from everybody walking around you know and then just having pride in ourselves knowing that we're we're part of a big family being a Lobo on the football team, football squad and stuff like that. And then it's just, you know, knowing that people look upon you, being doing some being a good role model. So you just gotta, you know, go with that role being being a lobo. What it means to me is that ever since my freshman year we've all been together. And since then, you know, new members of the team have been coming on and off. You know, we just learn to accept everybody as our own, as one of the logos. Once they step onto the field with us, they're one of us. I mean, it means a lot, you know, just, uh, it's like I'm part of a, a, a new family. You know, you know, I, I, got, I got my brothers, you know, they look up to me, you know, on this football team, you know, that's cool. You know what I mean? With the coaches, you know, we all look up to them, you know, just like a father figure. You know, and the, the boys on the squad, you know, um, we take care of them just like they're a brother. It's like a family thing now. <laughs> um, to me, being a Los Amigos football player is an honor, you know, um, keeping a tradition alive of the 90s, having a successful team here. I can always say that I was part of the long tradition of football teams here that managed to keep going and keep the name alive being a good football program here at the school. What do you think about the coaches? Um, I think they're great. I mean, Coach C's, Coach C's taught me a lot, put a lot of respect put a lot of pressure on me to to succeed at my most possible abilities. So, if you had to say something to the coaches right now, what would it be? If they were standing right behind me, what would you say to them? Uh, um, that I love them. I mean, they're, uh, they're great. But it means a lot of accomplishments, a lot of a lot of goals I've set for myself. Um, I would have never. I just feel. I feel as my my life is pretty much. I mean, my life is complete as a high school as a high school student. If I wouldn't play, if I wouldn't play football, I wouldn't feel like this. Cause football, is, uh, I gain a lot of stuff from football. Not just recognition, not just um, championships. I gain, um, I gain respect for others. I gain respect for myself, my coaches, older people, and I have gained self-discipline. If uh, your coaches were all standing behind me right now, what could you say to them? Thank you for being there for me whenever I needed you guys, and for never turning your back. Uh, it uh, means that you're something, uh, that you're part of something very special, you know, that like, you can say it after 20 years from now, you can say it to your kids, well, I was part of something special. I mean, uh, being a local player is something special that not everybody has. It's a one-time opportunity in your life. It's four years that you can play. And it's very special that, you, that it's always going to be with you for the rest of your life.
to uh, set school history. It's been 16 years since we've uh, earned a league title for our school, and it's about time. 1982 was the last year that uh, there's a number shown in our gym for a football championship. One of our goals to establish at the beginning of this year was to earn that league championship, and our dream and opportunity has come true tonight. And the Rancho will be a convincing win and a great celebration. And uh, that's what we hope for tonight.
Is that a decision or is the guy beating you? You made a decision yeah. to go in, didn't you? Now we're not out of this game and we've turned off the ball. We've turned over the ball. Don't make it a game. We've got a second chance once again. We're doing the game. All we need is a score that's just going to put ahead. And play it ahead. Force them to play catch up. Gentlemen, I ask you for your heart that I told you what you had. I ask you for your heart and not to give up. You gotta believe you have it. I'm telling you, you have it. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, hey.
unpredictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you had the time of your life. It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you had the time of your life.